Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Pecky Being. My name is Kasha and this video is not my usual type of video. I'm kind of sitting here, my hair just dried out of the shower and um, no makeup, not looking fancy at all today. Hanging out on my little couch. Um, the reason for this is because I wanted to make a very simple video to let you know that uh, yesterday I took Mochi the bunny to the vet for what I thought was a, an eye infection and I, I thought it was going to be a lot simpler. I thought I was just going to get some eye drops or an antibiotic and, you know, it'll get better. When we got to the vet, um, sometimes bunnies will, will get uh, swelling uh, in, in around their face when there are uh, teeth issues. So, for example, if, if a bunny's teeth grow too big and they're pressing, uh, on their jaw. In her case, she had two teeth that were actually rotten and they weren't even that attached to her mouth. They were sort of just kind of floating around in, in her mouth, like in, inside of the tissue and it was just very like swollen and because they were still in there, the discharge could not really exit. So it was kind of building up and, and coming out of her eye and her nose. So those teeth were pulled. Um, they actually pulled the teeth while she was like completely awake, they didn't put her under for it because they they um she doesn't didn't feel a lot of much pain because the nerve endings around those teeth are probably already dead. I mean, she still got a painkiller though, so they were able to do that. Also, it's it's better not to put a bunny under anesthesia unless it's really necessary because there's always that risk, you know, that they're not gonna wake up. So they did that. They pulled two of her teeth. And they gave me, they gave her a shot for an, um, a pain-killing shot, and they gave her the antibiotic. And then they gave me also oral pain-killing uh, medication for her, as well as an antibiotic. And I have another uh, appointment to bring her in next week on Tuesday to kind of check her up again and kind of see how she's progressing. If the swelling doesn't go down, which it looks like it's, it's starting to go down... Uh, if it doesn't get any better, uh, I was given some information about uh, an emergency vet that's in the area that does take in bunnies. Because the thing about bunnies is they're considered exotic animals. So they're classified uh, under the same category as guinea pigs and ferrets and lizards and all those other critters. So not every vet has the license and the education to treat a bunny so the, the they might have went to vet school and you know kind of learned about general you know uh, pet medicine but specialized in cats and dogs and they're licensed to treat cats and dogs but uh, you need to have extra more specific education to deal with other animals because bunnies while they're similar to cats and dogs are also different they're prey animals they're um, versus cats and dogs are predator animals and there's a lot of uh, diff different differences in, in their physiology and, and how their body uh, reacts to different things. I'm just waving my hand around. So you need someone that can treat a bunny or a ferret or a guinea pig. In this case, it also helped that the vet, uh, she actually has her own bunny. So it kind of really helped in, in that sense because she's really, really understood how to help and treat mochi um, the vet place, like, it was a new place I had to go to. I've never been there before, and they were really awesome. The, the practices, uh, that they, um, have in, in, in treating rabbits were awesome in the sense that they didn't stress Mochi out at all. It was very, like, as least invasive as possible. They kind of let her come out of her carrier on her own time, and, did everything, took their time, and they were very gentle with her, and it was even at a point where at first they came in to check her out, and then they left for a little bit before they came back again, and in that time she was totally eating her little lettuce that I brought with me to give, and you know, usually when bunnies are afraid, they won't take uh, food, they, if they're too scared, they won't eat, so she was like totally munching on her lettuce, And but after um, we took the teeth out, she has definitely shown that it's helping her it's making her feel a lot better and i wanted to give you guys you know make an update where i can kind of explain what's going on with bunny because a lot of you guys have watched her videos i have a couple videos on her on my channel and i did make an update on uh i think i 
I don't remember if I did one on Instagram, but I know I did one on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Kasha Pet Keeping, uh, Kasha spelled K-A-S-I-A. And then I also have an Instagram created pet keeping where I, you know, will update you guys if anything uh, changes or anything happens suddenly in between my videos. So uh, some of you guys already know that there was something up with Bunny. And also I've been updating my friends on Facebook on what's going on with her as well. But I wanted to give you guys a video that, you know, that explains everything, kind of get you guys updated. Also let you know that I will be... Very soon, uh, making a video on my fish room. I'm finally unveiling what I have. It's not going to be like a fancy, completely finished fish room, but it's finished enough where, um, you know, I'll be proud to kind of show off what I've done so far. And I also have videos of the move and kind of the whole process. I've been filming here and there, so I'm going to be putting that together. I just wanted to uh, first prioritize on, on and focus on Bunny. And, uh, you know, either that video will be either this Friday or sometime next week. It really depends on Bunny. Um, I'm trying to stay optimistic that she will get better, but there's always a possibility that, you know, she could get worse because that can happen with any animal. And it's especially tricky with bunnies because prey animals try to hide their symptoms and ailments as much as possible. It's just a natural response because if an animal is showing signs of uh, weakness or illness in the wild, they would be a target for a lot of predators. So naturally, uh, guinea pigs or bunnies will try to hide if they're uncomfortable, if something's wrong. So I have to definitely monitor uh, Mochi very, very closely. And, you know, things can either from now get better or worse. This is kind of like a very tricky next couple of days because right now it is important that we monitor that the swelling starts to recede. If it gets worse, I will have to kind of bring her back to an emergency vet and we're going to see what we need to, to, to do. But hopefully it looks like it is receding. So I'm thinking positive thoughts, hopefully. I am stressing out over it. I do tend to kind of panic a little more, stress out over my pets more than, than usual. So this, you know, I'm kind of checking up on her every 20 minutes like a crazy person and cleaning her cage and making sure her cage is like really clean and everything is sanitized because of the infection. And, and my phone stopped recording, so I guess it's a sign I've been rambling too much. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, this video hopefully if bunny gets better um, and I get my room finally sorted out and can you know finish up on packing and getting kind of settled in this new apartment I will be making a lot better videos for you guys I hope to be continuing making educational videos I will get back into better breeding and all that awesome fun stuff but you know just for now gotta prioritize bunny and make sure she gets better so yeah, on that note, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a nice day, and I'm going to go back and fuss over Bunny.